Hi and welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a bit of etching. Now there's lots of clips on etching steel on YouTube, but the biggest problem with etching is getting your stencil. You know, that's the most difficult bit. Whether people cover it with nail varnish or some sort of wax or go and pay to get some stickers professionally made. I've come across something where you can make your own stencils. Easy as. The software is already included, so you can just import an image onto a piece of stencil tape and hit print, and there you go, your own image. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Now, I'm not advertising this, but what this is specifically designed for etching. So inside there, you've got like a cartridge tape, 25 mil wide, and out they come here. So you just get your image, design your own image, whatever you want, and then just hit print, just like you would on a normal document. And out comes your stencil that you can etch with. Makes it so easy. So come along with me, and we'll see how easy it actually is. Get a nice black stenciled touch mark of you, <laughs> whatever else it wants to be. But yeah, anyway, let's go and do it. This is just some 1084 high carbon steel. And this is something I made, which is from the end of the thing you hold a drill with, with some felt on and a rod running all the way through to the negative connection of battery charger and the positive goes to your item and the salt water just like that you don't need a lot you don't want it all running and goobing over everywhere so we'll just stick him like that now the biggest thing most people have a hassle with is getting something here, a transfer, that will prevent the etch from taking place. Well, a stencil, like this, that you can put on there and it acts as a mask. So specifically designed for etching. So this would just take so much time off your hands just by doing this, just by Printing out your design, it's got its own software, import whatever you want and put it onto the tape and we'll show you how it goes. But what I've also got is a 24 volt AC transformer. Because what will happen is the DC here etches into the steel, but it won't make it black. But if you add the 24 volts AC afterwards, that will make it black. So let's get going and let's see how we go. Okay, now as we can see, the etch in there. And now what we'll do, I'll put a little bit of gun blowing onto that etch, just a little bit. And not for very long. Let's just smear the gun blowing on, you can see, it takes effect almost immediately. Leave that not for very long, probably 20 or 30 seconds, and then we will neutralize it. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, can't find my Windex, but here we go, this will go. So, let's give that a wipe over. A little bit of a spray. Bit of a wipe over again. And here we go. Oh, 
Ah ouais. Ah ouais. There you are. Nice. Black. Etch. There we go, that's a good shot. Just in there. Not too bad.